hello everyone welcome to electronics hub and from this video on we'll start the actual programming in kyle for 8051 so right now i'm in project video 3 with the .c file video 3.c so while starting i'll include a file reg51.h now why do we need to add this file i'll build the project and when I build the project, this file is included inside video 3.c. Now I'll open reg51.h. So reg51.h, it is the header file for generic 80c51 and 80c31 microcontrollers. So the addresses of ports are port 0 is from 0x80 to 0x87. Similarly, port 1, port 2, port 3. Now it is very difficult to remember the addresses. So the program won't be readable easily if you are using 0x80 or this uh, addresses for port 0, 1, 2 and all. So what we are doing is we are creating a special function register named port 0 from location 0x80. So port 0 can be accessed through P0. So similarly these are the registers and these are bits so for bits we are using s bit and for group of bits we are using sfr special function register so while programming will use p0 instead of the location 0x80 so for simplicity of programming we are using reg51.h now i'll write the main Inside main, I'll write while one. So in while one, what I'll do? I'll assign port two the value of port one. So that's it. Now I'll save the project, build it. So no error or warning is present. I'll go to debug. So we are in debug mode. Now click on peripherals, IO ports, click on port 1 and port 2. So these two are our ports. Now our port 2 will get the value of port 1. Click here to start. So if I change value at port 1 value of port 2 will also get changed this is because we are running this for infinite time so every time port 2 will have the value of port 1 now we'll do the same inside proteus so open proteus i've selected 80c51 now you have to click on pick I'll take logic state for input and logic probe for output. Now I'll zoom in. So as per our program, port 2 will be the output and port 1 will be the input. So port 2 is here. This is output and port 1 is input. If you want to know the detailed Proteus, how to use it, then click on the i button, you will get my tutorials over there. So now I'll connect. And if you want to know how to create hex file in Kyle, then watch previous video of this series. So 
remember logic state is used for digital input and logic probe is used for digital output so we are nearly done now double click so frequency is 12 megahertz which is required now click on browse I'll go back so this is my project folder and in objects the created hex file is present now I'll open it ok now I'll run so the input given at port 1 is present on port 2 so I'm changing the input and you can see the change in output So that's all from, from this video, if you are liking my tutorials then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in next one, thank you.